Hey guys, so recently we posted a video over opossums. Uh, we'd come across one out in the forest, he'd fallen over and played dead, we picked him up and showed him off a bit, and I mentioned a few things that came up in the comment section quite a few times. Uh, the biggest one was the size of the opossum brain, and I talked about how it's not really suited for using the traditional method of tanning hides, which is brain tanning. So if you check out this opossum skull, back here, this is where the little bitty brain is and there's not much to it. So really and truly, there's not enough gray matter in there to actually tan this in the way that we historically would have. Now, could it contrast that with the raccoon skull that I have right here? This creature would have been uh, approximately the same size as our full-grown possum here, but check out the difference in brain size. So this whole thing is gonna be full of gray matter, full of brains. Raccoons are well suited to be able to have their hides tanned preserved using the brain tanning method. So eventually I will make a video where I show how to tan hides using the brain. But for those of you wondering why I have a couple skulls on hand, especially from the opossum and the raccoon that I mentioned from a previous video, uh, that's because I was a biology teacher for several years. And these were in my classroom as props along with quite a few other types of skulls. I kind of grew up as a kid out here on the property and in several other areas collecting skulls and... Uh, wanted to grow up to dig up dinosaurs, a paleontologist, so a little bit of background for me. But uh, one of these days, I'll have to make a video showing some of the other skulls. I see every once in a while where people are trying to identify skulls and they post the pictures. There are a lot of different kinds of animals out there, guys. So hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe. Till next time.